time for your ABC 36 Storm Team forecast. After a couple of cloudy and uh, somewhat wet days here in central and eastern Kentucky, good to see the sun returning. Uh, it took a little while uh, across our southern and southeastern counties, but we're set up for a nice start to the weekend. Some sunshine, comfortable afternoon highs for this time in November. But as we've been telling you, you need the umbrella to close out the weekend. A little damp and dreary for the day on Sunday. I think this system will be out setting us up for a pretty uh, nice Veterans Day and beyond uh, as we do dry out. Now, of course, visible satellite with the sun setting, darkening, but I want to show you the beginning of the loop here. You can see those clouds finally exiting the area and the high thin Sears clouds drifting in from the west. Checking out downtown Mount Sterling in front of the Montgomery County Courthouse. We're at 59, so with the sun having set within the last 10 minutes, temperatures beginning to back off. Farther to the south, of course, down along the uh, Kentucky-Tennessee border near Monticello, Wayne County, 60. So our winds have been generally light today out of the north. We're mainly into the upper 50s and low 60s. And, of course, temperatures will continue to back down as we get a little deeper into the evening. Uh, still warm across the Carolinas and as far west as East Tennessee. They were into the mid to upper 70s today. But uh, we're feeling much more fall-like, and that will be the case for the first round of high school football playoffs out there this evening. Now that 55, that's going to be around kickoff or so. By the end of the game, we'll be in the 40s. So jacket and or blanket, that'll come in handy for you. High pressure, that'll take care of us for the time being. But you see the second half of the weekend storm system, a lot of moisture associated with it. Those higher clouds will drift through this evening and overnight. Chilly tomorrow morning if you're out early, low 40s in most locations. Few outlying areas could drop into the upper 30s. We'll rebound into the mid to upper 60s, maybe a 70 or two down south, especially with a warm front arcing through. But note the cloudiness. That will increase. So the sun's going to be early in the day. And then Sunday, it'll be Saturday night into Sunday. That's when we'll ramp those rain chances up. You see the warm front arcing through, and that's why temperatures could even spike up into the 70s down south tomorrow. Sunday, 60s across the board. The front uh, essentially sweeps everything out of here. I think we're mainly dry for Veterans Day. Should be in pretty good shape in that regard. And some fairly healthy rainfall totals. Pretty good soaker on the way. Inch, inch and a half will definitely take it, especially considering how dry it was through October. All right, in the next week, temperatures will begin to moderate slowly. By then, our average highs will be more so mid to upper 50s. And check out low, maybe even mid 70s on Wednesday ahead of our next system with we should bring another round of rain, I think, Wednesday night into Thursday. But look what's behind it. That's going to be, I guess, more seasonable air this time next week as we drop back into the 50s. So tonight, fair skies, a little bit on the chilly side in the morning, 42. Coming up tomorrow, mostly sunny early, but those clouds will thicken up later in the day. 67 for the afternoon high. I do expect a wet Sunday, especially early. Can't rule out a rumble, can't rule out, that is, a rumble of thunder or two. Veterans Day looking pretty good, dry Tuesday into Wednesday, and notice the difference here in front of and behind the front, low 70s on Wednesday, and then uh, as we close out uh, next week, temperatures backing down into the upper 50s for afternoon highs.